this wrap and stoop video, you're going to see not the outside of this luxury van wrapped, but rather the inside. And it's going to be done by the one and only Jimus Brazil. So he opens the door and reveals the piece that will be wrapped, which is this one right here. And it's got four very hungry mouths. And the material that's going in is interior film. This is around 10 mil. It's crocodile, multi-layered, so it doesn't want to go into those mouths. So Jimus is going to show great techniques to do it. Notice when he lays this panel out and he's basically locking in with that temporary hinge and then basically just pulling the liner, tacking onto the surface once he feels like it's a good position, pulls a little bit more of the liner and basically just looking for 100% glass, pulls up and down to even out that tension, then he locks it in with a squeegee stroke. Luckily the surface that he's wrapping right now doesn't have a super, super high surface energy and it's not very fragile. So he can release big chunks of the liner and it's safe to pick up. Oftentimes the surfaces that you're wrapping with interior film can be fragile or super high surface energy. It's totally a different protocol with the liner. In this case, Gemus takes advantage of this, releases the entire liner, glasses it out, and then locks it in. And notice that it doesn't quite reach all the way to the end. Most interior film, in this case, this is around 124 centimeters long. So he's going to have to do a butt joint, and that'll come at the end. We're going to feed the mouths first. To feed the mouths now, really important to get the right sequential order. Clicks his blade out just enough to get it to cut nice and clean, but not too long that it may damage what's on the inside right now. Very important to read your material. This particular material is a textured material, crocodile. It's 10 mil thick, multi-layered, so very, very, very important to make an enclosed cut here. Notice that Jemus has given himself about four to five centimeters or about two or three inches of excess material from the inside edge of this piece. That'll allow him to kind of really relax the material into those mouths without overstretching. The chance of overstretching this film is extremely high because the surface energy is medium to high, but not super high. And those angles are very severe with the thick film. Very important to get this sequential order right. So he heats the film, sets it up on the edge, and now he's going to feed one of the mouths. Notice he gives it excess heat. This actually shrinks the film quite a bit. So that's the zero stretch logic because this is calendar film. He wants to take it as close to zero as possible. Once it gets to zero, he feeds the mouth just a little bit. Once he's fed the mouth, he's gonna make a relief cut. And very important to notice that he makes this relief cut and makes actually three relief cuts, very cool. He makes his three relief cuts about one inch or about three centimeters from the edge. This allows it then to relax one more time based on the relief cut. And then he pulls that tab because he made those relief cuts and he can pull that tab and create a little bit of tension. Super smart relief cut right there. Same thing, puts his finger, pushes down, then knows exactly where he wants to cut. So he hit that kind of sweet spot where the tension is, makes those relief cuts, which allows him to grab a little tab right now. So when he adds the heat, he can gently kind of pull it into that location. So very important to get this set up here. So once he gets that set up, feeds them out, get it down nice and tight. So it's heat, then set up your relief cuts, heat again, pull into the mouth and make sure it's nice and secure. Now keep in mind during the prep phase, he cleaned it with degreaser, added primer and adhesive promoter here. Very important to add a primer so it holds that edge once he makes the cut. This cut angled in cut and it's flush to the edge. No wrapping around this section because A, it's hard to get to and B, wrapping around just a lot of extra work when if you get this set up for feeding the mouse, you can actually get in there without overstretching and cut it flush. Great technique from Jemus. So again, flush cut there. Once both mouths are cut, then he can cut the flat section in the middle. This is last. So always do the easiest part last, cut the mouths first, and you're good to go. So once he has the excess film cut off on the edges, cuts it a little bit more past the mouth. Once he gets inside there, then removes the excess film. So very great technique for Jemus by neutralizing those corners. And here's a close up of the mouth where you can see everything's fed, nice, even tension distribution in that mouth. Awesome stuff. So great technique. Now it's very important to round the film around this 90 degree turn right now at the bottom. So it works in baby stages, gives it a kiss of heat, uses that zero stretch to shrink it to that upper corner, then locks it around the corner. Very important. So again, you can either kind of work in stages or you can Pac-Man it, or you can run a finger. This is a nice wide buffer on the squeegee. So it rounds the corner for you, acts like as a finger, and then he feeds it to the edge and then it's going to work to the mouse and the other side exactly the same. So no need to kind of see that in detail. We'll just focus on this flat section where he hits it with heat at the very end to relax it. You can see the material kind of folds right there. So he immediately comes back in and shaves it. Then make sure the excess film is just not going inside the van. Make sure it goes right in his hand. 
then cuts away. So it's going to basically just kind of changing his cut setup based on his body position, cuts nice and flush. Then once the excess film has been removed, good to go. And then does the bottom exactly the same. So flush cut at the top. Now we move to that butt joint. So the surface energy, again, not super fragile, medium surface energy. So he doesn't have to do a lot of backing paper setup cuts for butt joints. You see those in the wrap and suit videos on other videos that say there's an interior series on in Amsterdam where I'm wrapping a very sensitive wall where I actually create the butt joint using the liner. But in this case, GMS can basically just kind of slap this piece on, cut a little bit of the excess film on the backside here, then removes that. You can see a lot of cables and a lot of things in his way. So the sooner he gets that out of the way, the better. So once that excess film has been removed, now we can come into the butt joint, super sharp blade, peak the blade so it cuts through both layers. Very important to do this. Once he cuts from top to bottom, it cuts straight as possible. So once he makes that cut, then he removes the excess film from the top and from underneath. That obviously stretches the film a little bit right now. And then he sees a little hanger on right at the bottom. So he's gonna remove that little hanger. So now it's full clearance for that top piece to butt joint to the top. Very important to trigger the memory. As you pull that bottom piece, it does stretch the film like 0.5%. So you wanna take it back to zero. So then everything fits like a puzzle piece. So again, load it with heat. If it doesn't quite fit and you have a tiny bit of overlap, you can actually squeegee it back towards where you applied it. And that sometimes makes that butt joint just really fit like a puzzle piece. Also adding lots of heat, especially when it, you have calendar film. So once the, the material has been butt jointed, it's time to finish the sides right now. And notice here, the, this is gonna fit next to another piece that's gonna be reinstalled here. And he's actually wrapping that off the car. So you can make a very quick, clean 45 degree cut away. There's no need to overlap back here. So in this case, he shaves, saves quite a bit of time by just knowing what's gonna fit on the backside. So this is the last section that he's applying. So I hope you picked up a lot of great tips and tricks on how to feed Tricky Mouse with interior film, especially ones that are textured. But overall, the final effect is absolutely beautiful. So thank you, Jemus, for showing us the skills and thank you for watching. I'm Justin Bate.